Hey everybody, Techie Prepper here, and I was tagged by Honda Roots to answer the question, what would I buy for my preps with $100 if I had found $100? So, this is my answer. And in answering, I'm actually going to show you something that I do that uh, kind of helps me control my spending and keep it an idea of the things that I really want to get and whittle down those lists as money is available. So, you know, I'm not a person who has a ton of extra money to be spending on preps. So I kind of have to think about things and really spend my dollars carefully. So anytime I'm watching a video on, on YouTube, or I'm reading a book, or reading an article online, I usually have Amazon open in another tab. And what I'll do is search for the product that's mentioned, see what the price is, kind of think about if it's interesting to me. Um, and if it is, I'll go ahead and add it to my wish list. So right now, this is just a, a little view of what my wish list looks like. You know, everything from a tactical case uh, up here. This is something that I was watching one of Such's videos, and he had a a weapon bug out kit. Uh, I thought that was interesting so I added it here. Now that doesn't mean I'm gonna buy this item, right? And it doesn't mean I'm gonna buy it from Amazon. I'm not affiliated with Amazon. I have no reason why I'm promoting them here other than I find it's really helpful for me to put items quickly into a list where I can keep a watch on their prices and as I have a little bit of money, I can allocate them to some of these items. So, the idea of this question is, I just got $100, what am I going to do with it? Well, here's my answer. So, I added up eight items here from my wish list, and it comes to $98.53. I do use the Amazon Prime service, so I pay $75 a year, and I get free second second day shipping on any of the items that I buy that um, obviously that qualify and a lot of the items that are on Amazon do qualify for that again this isn't a plug for Amazon it's just what I do because I do find myself ordering from them so often and <laughs> paying extra for second day shipping so I said hey this is silly I ought to just pay them the $75 up front and then have free second day shipping so this month is my focus for prepping is on medical preps and in fact it's going to lead into next month too because I didn't have enough funds within this month to get everything that I wanted. One of the things I'd like to add for my get home bag is this combat gauze. Um, I do have quick lot currently. I have the powder or the granulated in a couple of my kits but I want to add the combat gauze because it just seems like something that you know you kind of have two things in one and you don't have to search around for the gauze and the quick clot you just throw this on there next is prestige medical four and a half inch iris scissors this is for cutting gauze pads cutting uh, non-inherent pads stuff like that to fit the wound the next item is needle holder and I've purchased a few sutures, but I don't yet have any of these uh, forcep type items. Scalpel handles and scalpels. That's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I think that's something that's really important to have, especially in my large kit. Uh, the next item, water burn gel. Again, something that's great to have, and because they're individually packaged, they can go into a bunch of different other kit, a uh, bunch of different kits. And then next we have the um, nurses drug guide. The reason that I'm purchasing this is that I've recently picked up some um, antibiotics from a vet supply company, and I'm going to use this to make sure that I have drug uh, dosing guidelines, uh, things to avoid, uh, treatment schedules, that kind of thing all four of the medications that I have on hand. For example, Cipro, they recommend that you avoid uh, vitamins while you're taking Cipro. 
that kind of knowledge I think is really important if I'm going to have antibiotics on hand for a you know SHTF scenario then I better also have the knowledge to be able to use them in, in their best ways and to not waste them. And the last item that's on here, which would also go into my med kits, is the, uh, the Frontier Emergency Water Filter System here. It's just one of these little straws. Anyway, that's what I would do with my $100 whenever that $100 happens to appear in my pocket. Um, and that will probably be after my next paycheck. But uh, that's how I would spend it. And now I'm going to tag three other people. Um, and I'm going to tag them because they all have kind of divergent points of view. Uh, all different ways of looking at prepping. And so I thought it would be interesting to see what they would do with $100. So the people I'm going to tag are Cat's Cradle, the Haas USMC, and pragmatic survival. I look forward to seeing your points of view on the $100 and what you're going to do or what you would do if you found $100. Thanks.